Hey guys, it is NCS Fan 001 here for episode, is this number 13 now, of Fallout Cookbook Recipes? I think it is episode number 13. If not, then I feel very dumb. Anyway, today's recipe is a classic from the Fallout universe. Rataway! There it is, focus. Rataway, if you're ever feeling a bit down, make yourself a Rataway and watch that uranium fever vanish. Sounds like a good idea. This recipe is going to give you plus one luck for 30 minutes. It is going, it is an easy difficulty recipe that only takes five minutes of prep and five minutes of cook. So pretty much five minutes, probably total actually. It gives you one serving and it pairs well with Joe Spuckle's Meatball Spuckle. Mm. Uh, it requires a quartered lime, a dash of ground allspice, ice, a quarter cup of dark rum, a quarter cup of Nuka-Cola soda, and actual club soda. So I think that when it refers to the Nuka-Cola soda and the club soda, I believe that's referring to wanting just a quarter cup of prepared Nuka-Cola soda because that's what it says in the actual recipe description. So that's gonna be a slightly later step on this. So our first step here, is to squeeze the juice of three lime wedges into a highball glass, then add the allspice and stir. Move some things around a little bit. So this is the highball glass. We're going to do three lime wedges squeezed into this. I wonder if this is gonna come out kinda of like a kamikaze, but with uh, less liquor in it and more soda. So now that the lime juice is in, we have to add a dash of ground allspice. Now, uh, what a dash is, is considered questionable. Some people say just like a tiny little pinch of it. Others will say like up to a full eighth of a teaspoon. Now I don't have an eighth teaspoon measurement, so I'm just gonna take just a little bit in my hand, and that seems like it's probably about enough. Hopefully that's not too much. That seems like it's probably an eighth of a teaspoon. Now we stir it. All right, so I've got a handful of ice. I don't know if that's going to be quite enough ice, but hopefully it is. And then we pour in the quarter cup of dark rum over the ice. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not a big rum person. I will say that now. It's never really been one of my more favorite liquors. It's, in fact, one of my least favorites. So I don't know how much I'm going to like this. So now we need to fill the glass with prepared Nuka-Cola soda. So we only need, it says we only need a fourth of a cup of it. So for this, I went ahead and got a quarter cup of seltzer water, and I'm going to use one and a half tablespoons of Nuka-Cola soda because that's about one fourth of what I've used before. Here's the first take. Here's the full tablespoon. Good thing I still got some soda left because I need it for another recipe that's coming up. and the half tablespoon. So that's right around a quarter of what we would have done before. So now that all that's in, mix it up, pour it in, lightly stir it. I don't know why I brought this glass out. I guess I brought it out in case I needed an extra. And finally, the last lime wedge. It's technically supposed to drop in, but I'm just gonna stick it on the side because that's usually what you do when you get a mixed drink. So guys, that looks actually pretty solid. That it looks I think this is meant to be basically a rum and coke. I don't know why that connection didn't come through my head at first, but I think this is meant to be a rum and coke. So, I will be back in just a moment with the taste test. All right, guys, it's time to try Rataway. Let's see what you would normally be injecting into your body when you get irradiated. Ooh, okay, I don't know about that one, guys. 
Okay, that, that doesn't taste anything like rum and coke at all. That's not even close to rum and coke because of the lime. I think that this would be okay if it didn't have all that lime in it because three quarters of a lime, the juice of it, is a lot. Like, it's very sour. Now, I guess the good thing is you don't really taste the rum that much if you don't like rum the way, which is how I am. I do not, I'm not a fan of rum. But that is, that is very sour and you don't taste much of the rum, but I wouldn't necessarily say that this is the best drink out there because like I said, I, I'm not the biggest fan of rum to begin with and this is not gonna make me like it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it's just so sour, like, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it from both the lime juice and the rum, and I know I use dark rum. I don't, it doesn't specify, like, what kind of dark rum, because there's quite a few of them, so I just bought a cheap dark rum. I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I wouldn't be making this one again. There's a reason I don't really drink rum at the bar ever or anywhere else. And I'll at least finish this because I don't want to waste the rum, but yeah, I don't know about this one. Like that one, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of alcohol when it's sweet like this. Because like if I'm going to drink alcohol, I don't want it to be sweet. And I've had bad experiences with like sweetened liquors before, so like vanilla flavored whiskey and stuff before. So that, that's probably part of the reason is I'm just not a fan of liquor that has sweetness to it. So maybe it's just me, maybe you guys would like it. It's a simple enough recipe, provided that you have the Nuka-Cola prepared, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next two videos are going to be food related. So we're actually getting back to some food, both of which use some type of Nuka-Cola syrup, and that's why I'm making them next. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you for the next one.